Um, yeah. you already know what's going on and we're not gonna waste too much time because i've been putting this off and if i put it off any longer there might not be a gem or a stone so today i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna go for it i'm going to repot my birds of paradise put them together a lot of y'all already know the journey between gem and stone i'll give y'all like an update when i go and show y'all them but real quick let me give you my my repot and haul it's very very minimal things shout out to the thrifted planter on youtube i just watched some of her videos and i'm just hoping that the plant gods favor me y'all i'm new to this this is my first time doing it but instead of overthinking it i'm just gonna go for it it'll either be a learning experience or it'll be a learning experience either way it will be a learning experience if it works out for the better also i could learn something if it goes left But ain't no sense in just doing nothing and letting my babies suffer. So we gonna go for it. I got this Pro Mix. I hope that this is the right one. This is the one I think was suggested by the Thrifted Planter. Again, I hope so. It did have good reviews. I got it from Walmart. They had it on like Lowe's and Home Depot, but they didn't have it in store. So I got this from Walmart. I also got this fish fertilizer. Funky, oh my God. Do not buy this if you are not prepared. Which was also recommended by her. I don't even know how to use this or how it's applied, so I'm gonna have to look that up on my own. But the main thing is the um, potting soil. I also got this pot. This is a 16 inch pot. I'll probably end up painting this pot black. Yeah, I think I'll end up painting this pot black, but it was $14.98 at Walmart. I feel like it's a good size for all three of them. Um, and gives them some room to move and it should be deep enough that's my only concern but we should be good i don't i didn't want it to be too long of a planter because i plan on putting it on that little table out there and i'm gonna show you in a second so what else i get oh some plastic gloves i don't think that has anything to do with anything let me take y'all out here so you can see what we're working with okay how y'all doing today? <laughs> y'all, this new plant mom life. I'm about to really start bringing more plants in with the home office. But yeah, I'm like, what do I look like bringing new plants in when the ones I already have are suffering? So <laughs> let's not do things backwards. Let's let's do it right. So let me show y'all what's going on out here, okay? Judgment free zone. Are y'all finna judge me? Y'all finna judge me. I already know y'all. Y'all ain't got no type of respect, so it's cool. So most of you know, if you don't, this is Jim. This is stone, gem stone. I purchased them together. They were much smaller, probably about that size, if not a little bit smaller, but we'll, I'll tell you about what happened over here. I think I've had them since February, March-ish. I could be off counting it by a month or two. But as you can see, if you really, you don't even have to look close, y'all. First and foremost, stone, like gem, had two separate plants in one pot, right? They both had two separate plants. Now these wasps just wanna take over. I'm about to kill it. I'm about to kill it and I'll be back. Okay, so when I first got them, I watered them once a week. Again, I am new to this. I didn't like repot them or do anything special with them. I just kind of play by ear and watch them. One of stones, one of the plants, you know, one of the two just started to deteriorate. And I even made a video about that. And it did just like this one is doing right here. Little by little, it just starts to deteriorate. Now it's not completely gone. As you can see, she's sprouting a new one. So I just, I don't feel right just giving up on her, y'all. I feel like she still wants to fight. Help me! Help me! And I still want to do all that I can to learn a little bit more. Also, save my babies if I can. Also, I can see that Jim is starting to do the exact same thing. Now, somebody mentioned that if I try and combine stone with Jim, because stones had so many problems, there could be like a disease in the roots and it could travel over to Jim. My only thing is because now Jim is starting to have the same symptoms 
I'm just gonna take my chances and like I said if it's a learning experience it's a learning experience but what I'm going to do is repot them put them together I think I'm gonna bring out like a trash bag and cut it open maybe put it somewhere out here so that I don't make a huge mess out here sorry it's super bright but my exposure I can't really my exposure doesn't really let me do much with it outside but yeah I'm about to bring the things that I need out here y'all this is not a tutorial this is not a step by step me teaching anybody how to do anything this is simply me sharing my journey as a plant mom if you see that I'm doing something wrong only if <laughs> only if and I, I emphasize that only if you are familiar with plants you actually like have knowledge and not not just telling me not just telling me what I'm doing wrong but if you have any tips or you see that I'm doing something wrong I am open to feedback because I really really want to not just have pretty plants but learn more about them how I can nurture them and keep them alive so I'm just gonna go for it let me bring the things outside that I need and then we will go from there it is and does that just mean I should just let it go these roots are lighter and harder and stronger but I can see the mushy roots what do I do with that y'all these roots are like mushy and soft and I think rotted these ones are stronger white what suggestions do y'all have some soil left so obviously I'm gonna keep that to the side probably put it in the garage or probably keep it back here somewhere here is gemstone this is a gemstone y'all no longer gem no longer stone this is gem stone I already said that the leaves that are folded you know obviously I don't think they're just gonna magically open up but I'm not gonna do anything crazy to like the leaves I did cut off what was dead obviously um, the roots from the old one on stone are gone and I showed y'all the base of the root for Jim which wasn't looking the best but again I don't know exactly what I'm looking for so we're just gonna play it by ear y'all I got my soil nice wet damp packed in there I almost want to put a little bit more but I'm gonna leave it alone for now and we're just gonna play it by ear again if y'all saw anything that I've done wrong or even good please let me know because <laughs> I'm super nervous about this I feel like I don't want to jinx it but I just don't want to create a shock of the plant but y'all saw it was already not doing good to begin with so it is what it is learning experience 
either way. So day one, this is what she's looking like. I'm about to clean up my mess, put things away. This is gonna live right here, but I don't wanna put it up there yet cause I wanna get a drip tray. I think her right there is gonna be nice. I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna put her right here now. Give me a second. I'm gonna have to run this tripod under the sink. All right, y'all, let's clean up this mess. I'm just so dirty. Dear Tigiao. Now, Mama's gonna tell you right now. From here on, I did what I could, so I'm gonna need you to work with me and do your part. I just want y'all to know that this has trapped so much dirt into my house. There's literally dirt on everything. Oh my gosh. Everything, child. I gotta get ahead of it. Cause where there is dirt, there's bugs, honey. I can't even wash my hands. I need to wash my arms off. Hmm. Let, let's take a shower up in here. <laughs> but really, I have dirt all the way up to my arms. so dirty that was a lot and i don't know what happened there's like a film on my face i really need to take a shower i've been sweating in a different kind of way but look at the baby i'm glad that i did it like i said i've been putting it off I'm a little nervous about the things that i found because i'm not super knowledgeable i just went with the flow and still did the repot so please y'all comment below let me know what you anticipate the result being who knows we're just gonna play it by ear i have this fish fertilizer i'm about to look up how to use it because i really just want to do as much as i can so hopefully i can add this to it um and i didn't need to like do that during i don't think so because she said that she adds fertilizer to her plants so i'm like okay Obviously, it's something you can just add. But anyway, tell me what y'all know if y'all know anything about that. So thank y'all for watching and coming along this journey with me as a plant mom, y'all. I got some plants that I know I want to get for the office and I already have an idea of some plants that I want to bring into the family. Um, but we will cross those bridges when we get there. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Please don't forget to comment any of your tips, suggestions, thoughts, opinions as it pertains to this plant mom journey. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. One week later. Okay, so let's talk about it. Update. We're probably like a little over a week since the last clip where I repotted gemstone. Repotted them, put them together. I mean, <laughs> y'all saw how that went, right? Where we left off, I was saying that this portion of gem was extremely folded. I didn't know what the repotting would do, if it'll make it worse, if it'll help. As you can see, this part that was already kind of slouched and folding in and whatnot, it's done for y'all. This is exactly what the other half of stone did before it completely died. Not only that though, the other part of Jim is beginning. This is another part of Jim as well, but you can see it's starting to do that fold <sighs> and do the same exact thing, y'all. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm a new plant mama. I'm a new plant mama. And by the way, I'm not gonna call myself a plant mom. I'm now a plant mama. That feels a little more natural for me. So plant mama. As you can see, I am learning. <laughs> I know y'all probably have already started typing in the comments, giving me suggestions, telling me what I'm doing wrong or whatever the case may be, but I needed to add this to this video because I'm about to attempt to separate Jim that portion of gym from this portion in the event that because this one is so far gone that it might be hindering this part. So maybe separating them half and half. So it'll technically be half a gym and half a stone. I mean, I guess that'll even it out. Or if it's so far gone that gym is just done for. I don't know if y'all remember, but when we looked at Jim's roots, there was a, there was one side that was lighter and the other side, a little bit more of the majority was that mushy, brown and the research that i did it's root rot i did it it's from over watering and not having the right drainage system um and that was on me that was on me because i wasn't paying as close attention had the wrong pot 
again i'm learning i feel bad y'all i really feel bad <laughs> i feel i think worse than people would normally feel but i really feel bad because i'm really actually trying but i'm learning as i go i'm going to simply split these two up get rid of that portion of gem i am going to separate the already dead leaves so that we just have the other half of gem the other half of stone left my hope is that if whatever is dead is gone it doesn't continue to transfer to the other roots i'm gonna say this but also i'm gonna be 100 percent honest if after i do this it continues to die y'all we're just gonna have to put gemstone to rest and consider it a learning lesson i don't want to do that i really don't please please no which is why i am willing to do this thing all over again i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna wipe my hands and allow it to be what it's gonna be <laughs> all right y'all is, it is what it is a part of me feels like you know it, a part of me feels like girl you should have just left it as it was they gonna die anyway a part of me feels like i just wasted all my time yeah all right y'all it's done round two last round okay i'm gonna try and get this video edited and done so i can have it up for y'all so that maybe y'all can give me some tips or some honesty like sis let it go it is what it is but this is literally the end of this video i am done with the updates i'm exhausted with the whole thing hi <laughs> me in the present me now i have to end this video <laughs> the right way okay it's september the 22nd 2021 why well, i felt like i needed to say the year i'm not sure but i just did so here we are. We're probably like three weeks, maybe even a month out from that video. Maybe not a month, probably a month. It's probably been about a month since I recorded the beginning of that video, y'all. And it's been because I haven't been in a rush to tell y'all the results, in a rush to like confess. And then, and then it's just been a lot. <laughs> and come to terms with what has happened, okay? Um, gemstone didn't make it, okay? They didn't make it. I had to just give up on gemstone. I felt bad. I legit felt bad and I still feel bad, which is why I think I'm gonna like start to pause unless a name really comes to me um, right away. I'm gonna hold off. On like naming my plants and just like giving this big introduction because my feelings were legit hurt and they still are like I just feel bad I feel terrible but yeah I wanted to end this video with a honest update y'all and I'll put a picture or a video here since I reported them for the second time okay I have just been not watering a whole lot it has the drainage leaving them alone and they have just continued to die off y'all because even to this day as we speak at this moment they are out there just lean lean with it rock with it okay just gone done for okay so after today there will be no more gemstone we will find new babies for outside and i will apply the things that i have learned on this mini part of my plant mama journey two things to take away from this video y'all probably already know this stuff but i just want to share to you what i have learned <laughs> okay because i am in no way ever going to pretend that i know it all y'all already know i'm new to this i ain't true to this but i will be at some point and this is going to be a part of the growing process one thing that I've learned, drainage and overwatering your plant obviously is not a good thing. Now, while I kind of knew that, I kind of already knew that, but I didn't realize to what extent, because if you saw honey right now, you would, I mean, <laughs> night and day, let's just say that. Baby girl's flourishing. And maybe we'll show her on another video. Matter of fact, I got a plant video coming up because look, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna get that far. But for my plant lovers, we got more plant content coming because being a plant mama and like loving these plants has become 
a new obsession for me and something I really, really enjoy. So I'm just very, very excited and just interested to keep learning and I'm okay with trial and error now. I have accepted that it will be a part of the process. I just hope I don't have too many casualties along the way, you know, but drainage. I knew the pots I had outside didn't have the proper drainage. I knew that. What I was doing is when I watered the plants, I made sure that it just wasn't sitting in like the water, but what was happening and what I wasn't even considering or thinking about is I live in Florida and it rains all the time. So that rain that comes down and goes into the pot has just been filling them things up and just allowing it to sit. Bad on me though, because it's my job to check be sure but it's just not even something that I even consider so boom drainage <laughs> drainage okay not even just like over watering it's just having the right drainage so you don't even have to worry about those kind of things so I know now okay and if I was really like knowledgeable and informed when I first took that first root out I think it was on gym side that root was root rot like trying to replant that mushy root that brown root was like it was pointless and had i known i wouldn't have even like went further i would have been knowledgeable but now i am <laughs> so root rot my plants had root rot and that was the ultimate problem and the second thing that i learned which i don't think it had a huge i don't know i'm sure it probably had something to do with it but i think they were already so far gone they would have died off anyway is the size pot that i planted them in especially the second go around when i repotted it because the plant got even smaller you definitely don't want to repot a plant in that much soil with that much room it's just a no-go so i learning i'm learning <laughs> the pot was way too big to be repotting that size of a plant so um that is also the second thing that i learned but see i know these things now so i'll be able to take better care of my next baby and i'll learn things from them and stuff like that but i wanted to give y'all an update um yeah I feel bad and I wasn't in a rush to do this, okay? I'm be honest, that footage that y'all saw, I almost just didn't even like, this video was gonna be scrapped, which I know I had to keep it real. And also I feel like like in every journey, you can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna show all the beautiful, the pretty things and how I did everything right. And no, I don't like that. That's not even fun. So yeah, I messed up. I killed my babies. <laughs> So can we get a rest in peace, Jim Stowe, in the comments, okay? We're just gonna have a moment of silence for the twins. One, two, three. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I appreciate y'all being here. <laughs> But yeah, that is the sad update, but get ready for more plant content because plants are gonna be a part of this home and a part of my life, so get ready. <laughs> I keep looking out there because I'm about to go for a run and um, I think it's gonna rain, so I gotta cut this short. <laughs> but I did want to end this video with the real tea on what had happened. If y'all have any other suggestions, comments, or thoughts on my plant mama journey, please leave them in the comments below. It's gonna be a beautiful journey, y'all. I'm really taking the time now to educate myself. Like, I don't just want plants because they're pretty. Like, I really, really enjoy learning about them now so yeah <laughs> thank y'all for watching i hope y'all like the new intro and outro y'all like that y'all like that for the channel let me know if y'all like that too i, I did it for the channel because i i want both of them to have just kind of like a different kind of vibe so tell me what you think about that as well um yeah i will see y'all in the next video and it will be sooner than a month i promise i said it I promise that there will not be as huge a gap from my last video as it was for this one. Okay. Have a beautiful day and thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Bye. <laughs> I'm trying to pace myself, but it's hard because I'm addicted. <laughs> but God! <laughs> okay.
second thing that I learned. What else I learned? Oh, right now as we. Stop all the notifications. Extent because if you saw Honey right now, you know what? Hi. <laughs> Load it up and do do do. Oh, it's still going. Wow. Wow. All right, cut and print. Beautiful guys. Dino.